Hi guys! So yes, we have a new cage and of course it is the IKEA Detolf. Um, this is just one of our dream cages that we've always wanted and we finally got it. And of course we got the Calyx units to fit. We got four of the pink um, Drona boxes and then four of the floral print ones. And you know, I'm in love with this cage. It is just amazing. Um, so I thought I'd give you all a tour. Um, this is just a temporary setup. Things are going to be changing and you should expect lots of different themes. If you guys could leave me some requests for themes down below, you know, I'm so open to it and I can pretty much, pre I'm pretty much open to any suggestions and I'm really excited to see what themes you guys would like. So let's jump straight into it and I'll show you the boys setup. So the cage measures 160 roughly by 40 um, which offers each hamster 80 by 40. Obviously they are Syrian so they have been split down the middle. You can kind of see there where all the silicone is. Um, if you guys would like to know how I split it um, I'll, re I'll write everything down in the description and I'll kind of show you in briefly in a second and I'll show you guys the measurements for the lids I made. And that. So obviously my boys are two Syrians, they are both boys, so excuse the girliness. <laughs> and you can see me in the reflection, so hello. <laughs> um, but first we have these adorable butterfly bunting going along the top of the cage. It's just super sweet. And I got this when I was working at a wedding, you know, and it's just so sweet. So I'll start off with Theodore's. Here are the homemade lids. These are going to get painted white very soon. So just rest that on there. Um, each lid is 33 centimetres by 77 centimetres. So that's an overview of Theodore's cage. Um, it offers him 80 by 40 centimetres floor space. So I'm going to be quite brief because you guys will see everything in more detail in a different cage tour. But we have a water bottle, of course. Batteries come up. Um, a wheel, which is his rodent wheel, his bendy natural tunnel, then a variety of different chews, and then his hot number squeak items there. You guys have seen these before in a different cage tour, and Theodore's asleep in there. And then his long tunnel. I'll just close that. There we go. And this is the divider, so we've got two glass panels. Oops. Uh oh, I'm daft. Two glass panels and then some cardboard in the middle. You can see they've been siliconed there down the sides. So the backing paper on this is polka dots um, on a pink background. Then we have his house, which is a shoe box with three entrances. We have a tunnel leading out of this one and it's stuffed with tissue. We then have a water bowl because I don't have any more suction cups for a bottle. Um, I'm going to get some this evening. We have a, um, a cupcake chew from Kai's Little Piggies, a Timothy Hay chew from Katie, um, then a reindeer chew, a corn leaf barrel roller, a hot nibble squeak item with a, some chews on there which I got from Kai's Little Piggies. And then his new wheel, which is from Zoo Plus, and it only cost me six pounds. Um, it literally only just fits and spins around. You know, if it was a millimetre bigger, you know, it just wouldn't fit. So, hey, <laughs> you could see me then, but oh well. Um, we have a bendy log bridge here, which Charlie likes to hide under. We have a another bendy log bridge we are used as a platform, and of course, the substrate is wood shavings. So, as I said, this is just a temporary setup. Everything will be changing um, as we go along. I'm just trying to figure out which is best for the boys and, you know, what they prefer. So, so far, Carrie's Little Piggies is the only person to have seen the setup, but now all you guys know. Um, so, thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think and leave us some suggestions down. If you've got any questions at all about the detail, just let me know and I'll be sure to reply as soon as I can. Also I'd just like to thank everyone for all their support about our cat passing away. You know, I said I was taking a break but I'm back, you know, I'm in the right frame of mind and I've kind of come to terms with it. And it is even even though it is still quite a a sensitive topic, you know, it's kind of just become a bit of a reality now and we're all much better about it. So thank you so much. I didn't reply to any comments. Um 
I'll try to, but kind of that'll bring it all back up for me. So I might not reply and I don't think I'm being rude, but I do really support it and I couldn't have got through it um, as well as I did without all you guys. So thank you so, so much. But we are back now and we've got lots of exciting setup ideas. We are getting the guinea pigs a new setup, which you guys will find out find out about very soon so thank you for watching and we'll be back soon with another video and we'll see you shortly guys bye